Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Watch Arnett. I do everything modded Minecraft. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Cursed Forge app. For me personally, this is how I do everything in Minecraft, whether it's vanilla, modded on Forge, fabric, I'm putting shaders on, mods, mod packs, different versions, absolutely everything I do through this app. You're going to want to go onto your browser and go to download.curseforge.com. That is from the Cursed Forge website. Download it here. This is also going to install the Overwolf app onto your computer. I am going to assume you know how to install an app and you may need to sign up for CurseForge, etc. Now, this is the app once it is opened and installed. As you can see here, I've got a variety of games. Now, it should automatically know where Minecraft is located on your computer. If it does not, however, go down to the cogwheel at the bottom left corner of your screen and go to Game Specific. Click the Add Game button, which is this little cross, and manually add a game. And then you're going to want to basically go to the directory of where it is installed. Now, hopefully it should know where your Minecraft is already installed. Now, I have these pinned on the left-hand side here. You can click on Minecraft and it's going to take you to the Minecraft tab. You can see I have got a variety of mod packs installed. I name all of mine YT for YouTube, 1.19, 1.16, etc. Now... For example, the mod pack I'm playing at the moment is Ragnamod. If you want to install mod packs that are already pre-done, you know what you want. For example, the better Minecraft mod pack. You can go to this tab here, browse mod packs, and you can search. I'm just going to put in better MC, press enter, and this is going to bring up all the relevant mod packs. Now, you can sort these by popularity, featured by the author, etc., total downloads, and all categories. For example, if you want a magic only mod pack. Now, these aren't fantastic, I must say. If we click on magic, that uh, it is bringing up better Minecraft at the top, and really that's not a magic based mod pack. You can select here by versions if you specifically want a 1.16.5 mod pack you can just click on that and it will only show you mod packs that are on 1.16.5 you can also just search the featured mod packs here now when you press install you can then go back to my mod packs and they will be on this screen here i am going to be using ragnar mod 6 as an example now, when we click into this, you can see everything about the mod pack here. This is the, um, everything that they have put up. Some mod packs will tell you hardly anything here. It all depends on the author. You can see installed mods here. So you can see that Ragnar Mod has 297 mods installed. And by the way, I stream this mod pack on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash watch So make sure to follow me there. And you can see all of the different mods it has. Now, these may be locked by the author and you can click these three buttons here go to profile options and tick allow content management for this profile if i untick this you can see i can't delete the mods etc now because i kind of know what i'm doing i always tick this if they lock it so again profile options and allow content management that will allow you to update delete or turn off the mods in the mod pack and if you go to profile options again, you're always going to want to untick, by default this will be ticked, untick use system memory settings. I always add about 12 gig for these huge mod packs. If you use system memory settings, it'll use a very small amount of RAM and generally you're going to, you know, you're not going to do well with that. And I would always leave the Forge version, etc. alone if it is a pre-made mod pack. You can then press add more content. This button will not be available if you have not unlocked the mod pack, as I just showed you. And you can add more mods as you see fit. So not modern packs, but actual individual mods. And again, you can search at the top. You can also actually do this for resource packs. So it has a huge library of resource packs that you can download and install in here as well. And also maps with the resource packs. You can actually filter these by how big they are, for example, if it's 16 or 128. And... Uh, yeah, you can do that. However, if you do not want to add a pre-made mod pack and you may actually want to create your own mod pack, you can create create custom profile, give it a name. I'm going to call this YouTube. Select the version of Minecraft you want. And the fantastic thing is it's only going to show you mods that are actually applicable to this version. So if we put 1.19.2, I want it on Forge, not Fabric or Vanilla. Forge is the um, kind of the architecture behind the mods. Some mods are made for Forge, most of them are, although recently there is now Fabric. And if you were just like a vanilla 
one. You can also do that. So I'm going to go for Forge. I would never touch really the Forge version. It it actually knows what one to use. Uh, say if I click 1.18.2, you can see it's a different Forge version. So it will automatically update that. And the whole idea around this is you don't have to worry about anything. You can be a total noob around installing stuff. Um, and it will do a lot of the hard work for you. Let's click onto this profile we've just made, and you can see there's no mods installed in the mod pack, and we can go to add more content. I'm going to then install just enough items. I'm going to install mouse tweaks, etc. And if we click back here, go back into YouTube, and you can see now these mods are installed. Now, if I go to add more content, and I look for mob dismemberment, you can see mob dismemberment is not here. That is because this mod is not available for 1.18. However, if I go to my 1.12 pack and press add more content and put mob dismember, you can see that the mod is available down here. So 1.12.2, Minecraft version. If you know that you want a certain mod, but you're not sure what versions of Minecraft it is actually available on, what you can do is go to the CurseForge website, go to Browse at the top, click on Minecraft here, and then this brings up all the mod packs and mods that CurseForge has in its library. And you can search this just the same as we did in the CurseForge app. Now, you've also got bucket plugins. There is a customization which adds shaders, etc. You can actually add shaders from here. Now, remember, if you're looking on mod packs, it's only going to search for actual whole mod packs. We want to click on mods, mob dismemberment, press enter, of course. Click on the mod. And here you can go to files and under files, you can see it will actually show you the files for each version of Minecraft. So if we click game version and sort by that, we can see that it is available for Minecraft 1.2.5 all the way up to 1.12.2. So if you are looking for a certain mod and you're not sure what versions it's actually available on, I would advise to use the CurseForge website rather than the app. If you, however, are just looking for a certain whatever mods are available on the predefined version of Minecraft, I would do it in here because this is only going to show you in the add more content. It will only show you mods that are available for the pack you're playing, whether that is the version of Forge you're on or the Minecraft version you're on, or whether it's the Forge versus Fabric architecture, making your pack and then pressing add more content, you will never go wrong. And also another really cool thing. Now, you may or may not be aware that some mods actually need a library mod behind them. So if you were just downloading mods off the internet and shoving them in your mod folder, you may not know that you actually need a mod to go along with it. For example, if I install the create mod and I go back, you can see that actually it has also installed the flywheel mod. Now, if I had just gone online and downloaded create, I would never have known that it needs the flywheel mod also included. When you click add more content, it will always, or 99.9% .9 times, I've only ever had it once where it didn't actually download the library mod needed. And I've downloaded hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mods over my time. It will always include any library mods automatically. So you never have to worry about including mods here that need library mods, you know, and then starting up your Minecraft world and realizing you can't play it because a mod is missing. That will never happen with CurseForge. Now, if you are installing mods that have compatibility issues with each other, that is a, you know, a whole nother issue. And, you know, I'm not going to get into that because there's a hundred million possibilities. But generally, you can add loads of mods on here. They all generally work very well together. And I rarely do have a compatibility issue. And if you are having a lot of compatibility issues, maybe you should just browse mod packs and install one that's totally already done for you. Okay, so that's that's how you install mods and resource packs, etc, etc. But let's see if you want to actually maybe add in Optifine or add in shaders. How would we do that from the CurseForge app? You're going to want to click these three dots again. Remember, we're already in our mod pack and you're going to want to go to open folder. And this is then going to open the folder of this actual Minecraft save. And once you're in the folder, you're going to see all of your usual folders that you have in Minecraft. And if you want to add in mods, 
that are not from the Curse Forge app, for example, Optifine, it is absolutely fine to just double click on mods, download Optifine and drag it into here. So if I was going to download Optifine, I would click these three dots, open folder, go into mods, and I would just drag in Optifine on here. If you're ever worried about downloading the wrong version of a mod online, it usually says in the name, like you can see here for Optifine, I've got 1.18.2. It would generally say the Minecraft version in the mod name when you download it. So you just drag Optifine into this mods folder, same as any other mods. If there is a mod that is not available on Curse Forge and you want it on here, for example, I had to download and install Galactacraft because I don't believe uh, it was on Curse Forge. You just drag it into the mods folder and it won't show up on here. As you can see in my installed mods, there's eight of them. You can see that Optifine is not listed here. However, it is definitely installed because I can see it in the mods folder here. Now, the same goes with shaders. You can download them off CurseForge, etc. if you'd like. And uh, if you don't do that, I personally just download them off the internet myself. You can just add the zipped folder into the shader packs folder. So anything in the background here, if you want to change configs of the mod, you can go into the config file here. Now, this is a bit more technical, but some of you may watching may know what you're doing. Like we can go into Alex's mob. We can double click on bison spawns. And what this is going to do, for example, is we can say, you know, false or true on whether we want the bisons to spawn in these biomes, etc. You are going to need Notepad++ for that. Um, but yeah, so you can do everything that you would do with normal Minecraft. You know, you can change whatever the hell you like. You can literally do what you like. This is just a really fancy way of viewing all of the information that would usually just be sat in a folder on your computer. So I hope this was really helpful. If there's anything I've missed, please do let me know in the comments and I'll be really happy to help. We also do have a modded help section in my Discord. There'll be a link down below for the Discord. The Discord is purely, uh, at the time of recording this, we have about 250 other Minecraft and modded Minecraft players. As I said, I also stream on Twitch and I'm also um, very happy to answer any questions there. So uh, do, do join if you have any questions, you're stuck with any modding. Um, modding, technical issues, etc. I'm always happy to help. I'm not a complete expert, but I do know a fair bit around modded Minecraft and um, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.